Welcome to the Daily English News Program, Nazarbayev Television, with the most important events of the day. I'm Gilad Hatamovam. An opening ceremony of the 26th edition of the World Taekwondo Championships kicked off in Baku on May 29th. President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev attended the opening ceremony. The head of state and the First Lady came to Baku Crystal Hall to witch the opening of the World Taekwondo Championships. President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev met with President of the Royal Taekwondo Federation Chung Won Chu. Chung Won Chu presented the First Lady Mehriban Aliyev with the 8th degree honorary black belt and certificate. The head of state and the first lady had a conversation with the president of the World Taekwondo Federation. Then the opening ceremony of the 26th Taekwondo World Championship took place. A parade of participating teams took place as part of the opening ceremony. Under the anthem of the Royal Taekwondo Federation, the flag of the organization was brought to the stage. Then the national flag of the Republic of Azerbaijan was brought to the stage and the national anthem of the Republic of Azerbaijan was played. The swearing and swearing of judges, athletes, and courage take place. President of World Taekwondo Federation Chung Won Chu addressed the ceremony. The video appeal of the President of the International Olympic Committee, Thomas Batch, was screened. President of Azerbaijan Taekwondo Federation, Kamalat Din Haydarov, made a speech. Then the Minister of Youth and Sports of Azerbaijan, Farid Gayubov, declared the 26th Taekwondo World Championship Open. During the opening ceremony, a film reflecting the life and activities of the great leader Hidar Aliyev, the attention and care of the national leader, President Ilham Aliyev and First Lady Mehriban Aliyev, to the development of sports in our country was screened. The opening ceremony continued with the artistic part. President Ilham Aliyev received President of the Royal Taekwondo Federation Chung Won Chu and Vice President of the International Olympic Committee Sir Nyang Nge. The head of state recalled with pleasure his meetings with Chang Won Chu and extended his congratulations on the 50th anniversary of the World Taekwondo Federation. The importance of Baku's hosting the 26th edition of the World Taekwondo Championship was underlined at the meeting. Chang Won Chu highlighted excellent organization of the event, saying this tournament, which gathered representatives of 144 countries, is the biggest in the Taekwondo history. Chang Won Chu said the fact that championship coincides with the 100th anniversary of Great Leader Hidar Aliyev has a symbolic significance. Chang Won Chu pointed out that the World Taekwondo Federation had successfully cooperated with Azerbaijan Taekwondo Federation for many years. During the conversation, the sides noted that the government takes much care for sports development in Azerbaijan and highlighted the importance of Azerbaijan successfully hosting prestigious international sport competitions. 
The head of state pointed out that modern sport complexes also exist in the regions of Azerbaijan, along with Baku, and underlined that large sport infrastructure would be created in the liberated lands too. The side said that Taekwondo enjoys big interest in Azerbaijan and recalled Azerbaijani athletes winning a gold medal in the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games. President Elham Aliyev received credentials of newly appointed Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotentiary of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Alim Bayel. The ambassador presented his credentials to President Ilham Aliyev. Then the head of state had a conversation with the ambassador. The head of state noted that there is active cooperation between the two countries and from this point of view underlined that his visits to Kazakhstan and the Kazakh president's visit to Azerbaijan had given an impetus to expansion of bilateral relations. President Ilham Aliyev pointed out that both peoples shared the great history of friendly and fraternal relations and had always supported each other. He said that this factor is of great importance today for deepening cooperation in the Caspian Sea Basin and other spheres. The head of state underlined that Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan currently conduct active talks to increase trade turnover and transportation volumes, said the transportation and logistics field is one of the major directions of bilateral economic ties, and pointed out that joint infrastructure projects provide a good opportunity for expanding the volume of cargo transportation. At the same time, President of Azerbaijan highlighted the importance of utilizing capabilities for shipbuilding facilities. The head of state underscored the significance of oil transportation from Kazakhstan to the territory of Azerbaijan, which had begun some time ago, adding this made an important contribution to expansion of energy cooperation. The head of state wished every success to the ambassador in his activities. Adem Bayel pointed out that he is honored to be appointed as an ambassador to Azerbaijan and assured he would make every effort to further bilateral relations. The ambassador extended his respect on the 100th anniversary of Great Leader Hidar Aliyev and congratulated the head of state and the people of Azerbaijan on the Independence Day. Alim Bayel underscored that he considers as his priority the development of interaction in the trade and economic sphere and implementation of projects, which are of big geoeconomic significance for the two nations and other regions. In this context, he noted the development of the Trans-Caspian International Transport Corridor, laying of the fiber-optic cable under the Caspian Sea, and diversification of Kazakhstan oil export. The sides noted that Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan effectively cooperate within international organizations, including the Organization of Turkic States. The head of our state also received UK Prime Minister's Treaty Envoy to Azerbaijan, Baroness Emma Nicholson. Baroness Emma Nicholson presented to the head of state the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak's letter related to the Baku Energy Week. President Ilham Aliyev thanked for the letter. The sides noted successfully developing bilateral ties between the two nations, touched upon cooperation in the energy and oil and gas sector, underlined years-long fruitful cooperation between Azerbaijan and BP, and in this respect underlined the importance of execution of the South and Gas Corridor. Baroness Emma Nicholson's participation in the Baku Energy Week was underlined with satisfaction during the meeting. The meeting also saw discussions on the implementation of trade, small and medium business, social projects, humanitarian ties, exchange of experience in women's rights protection and other issues. President Elham Aliyev made a phone call to President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The head of state congratulated Recep Tayyip Erdogan on the victory in the presidential elections. President Elham Aliyev evaluated this victory as the Turkish people's trust in the policy pursued by Recep Tayyip Erdogan and expressed confidence that all-round welfare of Turkey would continue under the leadership of Recep Tayyip Erdogan in the years to come. The head of state wished new successes to Recep Tayyip Erdogan in his activities in the name of welfare of the people of Turkey and progress of the country. The president of Turkey thanked President Ilham Ali for congratulations and warm words and extended congratulations on the occasion of the Independence Day. The president of Azerbaijan expressed gratitude for the congratulation. The president of the Republic of Azerbaijan invited Recep Tayyip Erdogan to pay an official visit to our country. The invitation was accepted with gratitude. The heads of state expressed confidence that fraternal and brotherly relations between our countries would continue to develop successfully in all fields. During the telephone conversation, the issues related to prospects for cooperation were discussed. According to the press service of the President of Azerbaijan on May 29, President Ilham Aliyev sent a congratulatory letter to President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The letter reads, 
My dear brother, on my own behalf and on behalf of the people of Azerbaijan, I am pleased to convey my sincerest congratulations on the victory you gained in the elections to post of President of the Republic of Turkey. It was great attention and excitement that the people of Azerbaijan watched the elections. The results of the award, which is a triumph of the national will, are the highest award given to the large-scale policy and the invaluable services that you have implemented decisively on the path of the comprehensive development of your country. Your activity engraved on the pages of our modern era with golden leaders is a clear expression of your boundless love, attachment and loyalty to the motherland, the people and the Turkic nation. Thanks to your leadership, the Fraternal Republic of Turkey has traveled through a great and honorable path of development over the past 20 years to become a power center that has a decisive influence on developments taking place in the international arena, has its own say and made significant strides in political, economic, industrial, military, new technologies and other fields. As a fraternal country, we are extremely proud of the successes of the powerful and influential Republic of Turkey, which are the cornerstone of the historic mission, Azerbaijan-Turkey relations, which are historically bound together by unbreakable ties stemming from the will of our peoples, are unparalleled in the world today. Our indestructible friendship and brotherhood, mutually beneficial cooperation and the the large-scale projects we implement together are important factors that characterize our strategic alliance and at the same time they form the backbone of regional cooperation, security and stability. Our people always remember with great appreciation the decisive, unequivocal political and moral support of your personally, the brotherly country and people of Turkey in the struggle for the liberation of Azerbaijan's lands from occupation. My dear brother, taking this opportunity, I would like to invite you to pay your first visit to Azerbaijan. I am confident that through our joint efforts, the landship and brotherhood of our peoples, which have stood the test of time with honor, Azerbaijan, Turkey, unity and alliance will continue to develop steadily and will be further strengthened in accordance with the spirit of one nation, two states and single feast principles. We share the joy of this victory with you and wish you robust health, happiness, prosperity and fraternal Turkey and new successes in your high state activities for the peace and tranquility of your people. Sincerely, Ilham Aliyev, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan. First Vice President Mihriban Aliyeva shared a post on her official Instagram page on Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's victory in the presidential elections. The post reads, I sincerely congratulate Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan and my dear sister Emine Hanım on the occasion of the victory. May the brotherhood of our peoples be eternal and indestructible. I wish the entire Turkish people the best of health, happiness and peace. May Almighty God protect Azerbaijan and Turkey. On May 29, members of an illegal Armenian armed detachment in the territory of Azerbaijan where the Russian peacekeepers are temporarily deployed under the guise of agricultural work attempt to install long-term fortification devices in front of the Azerbaijan army's position stationed in the directions of the Agdam, Khojevan, Shashal, Lachin and Kalvaja regions, the Ministry of Defense reported. The engineering works was immediately stopped as a result of the urgent measures taken by the Azerbaijan army units. You can get in touch with us by conducting the AZTV hotline number 051-511-1956 through which you can report events you encounter as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for today. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.